Welcome guys to the top three best free screen recording software 2020 and 2021. I would be absolutely astonished if any brand new screen recorders release in the next four months because I'm recording this in October. So if you're watching this in 2021, assume that all of these are still the best. In fact, one of them, the, the number one place that I'm going to talk about in a minute, has not changed as in my opinion the absolute single best screen recording software on the market. It's been this way for a long time. Let's jump into it. Number one. Open Broadcast Software, also referred to as OBS. Now, Open Broadcast Software and Streamlabs are very similar, obviously by the exact same people, but Open Broadcast Software is the one I would recommend because it's a little bit less intensive, and this is by far the best on the list. First off, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm going to leave a link down below to every single screen recorder I, I talk about, so hear me out, and then choose at the end. I'll give you guys a little bit more advice at the end, but other than this being a little bit intense... This is the best editor. So it's very possible on certain computers that it's a little bit too intense and it can't run. Which means that number two and number three might be better for you. But um, if you're using the right settings on it, usually it's pretty good for almost any spec computer. And I would encourage you guys to check out a best settings tutorial. In fact, I'll leave mine linked down below as well. So open broadcast software. This is the best all-in-one screen recorder. You can also live stream with it. You, I literally use it for my YouTube videos. Hey, what's up? This is me. I'm, I'm literally on open broadcast software. Let me show you. Like, I, I'm literally, I've positioned myself as full, fully on screen, but I could literally, I could get myself, I could put myself in the middle. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Um, we could we could switch to a, a, a show in the screen. Hey, what's up? Right? There's a lot of versatility here. You can pretty much design it. It's almost like a little editor. Here, I'm literally, I did, I did that live. I don't know if that spooked you out. I did all that live. I'm recording this in open broadcast software. And um, because open broadcast software, OBS, is so useful, is so powerful and so just easy to use, I give up quality. Like, if I recorded this on my main camera, I, I've got a webcam plugged into OBS. If I recorded this on my main camera, we could have this video in 4K. It could be even nicer quality. But because OBS is such an easy program to record with, I always use it. And its screen recordabilities are 10 out of 10. So, open broadcast software is great, easy, and frictionless. Number two, free cam. That is correct, FreeCam, standard screen recording software, but it's got a lot of the features of OBS. Now, it's Windows only, which means, um, basically, some of you guys can't get it. The other one was Windows, Mac, and Linux. This is only Windows only, right? And also, you have to give them your email. I know some people are a little funny about that. When, when the website asks for your email, they think they're getting hacked or something. The, I, from, from my understanding of this website, it's all legit. They're not going to be breached and hacked by Russia, and then Putin's going to be reading your emails. Don't worry. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think that's going to happen. Of course, I have to say think because Putin, he's a crafty motherfucker. He might he might make his way into free cam. Um, of course, you have the option to record your voice and your system sound, but um, you basically can't do a, a face cam on this one. There's no face cam. Um, you can select a recording area, and also you get to highlight the mouse thing where it emphasizes your, uh, your mouse, which is kind of cool for maybe tutorials or something. Also, what's kind of cool is it has a built-in video editor. You can delete parts, polish up certain parts, and, you know, trim it down if maybe the first 30 seconds we're doing nothing. You know what I mean? So, you've got a couple cool things there. Um, and if your PC can't run OBS, this is definitely the one for you. Very um, easily run editor. It's not super intensive. Number three, screen rec. Super simple editor and maybe the easiest one on this list to use. Maybe. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, so it's another one that everybody can get their hands on, and it is describes itself as one-click screen capturing plus screenshotting. So literally one click. That that's what they've claimed. Makes sense. You probably have to do two clicks to be to be honest, not to defeat their point, but you probably have to at least click the program to open it first and then click to screen record. Hey, at the end of the day. Who knows? Maybe they've done an update. I don't know. Um, you can annotate and highlight areas, making it perfect for feedback. So this is like a businessy one, almost. Like, I think they even list on their website a whole bunch of people this would be perfect for. And it's basically, it lists, like, designers, coders, teams working together. So it's a great, like, almost team viewer type of situation. Um, or what's that one where I used to have a client who used to send me voice messages on Loom. Something called Loom, where my, my client would send me voice. Like, hey, Jack, how's it going? Just want to point out a couple things that he's changing. And it'd be him talking. This is probably one of the similar things that he was using. But he was using Loom. Um, great for teams. This one's targeted to professionals, as I said. And it gives a great... Uh, it's basically great for online business, teams working together, stuff like that. And of course, all three of these are 100% for free and available down below in the description. So, to recap, 
if you can, I'd suggest you just go straight to OBS, Open Broadcast Software. Honestly, the versatility of that program is next to none. It's the reason I use it. It's like literally one of one on, on the video production scene online. Streamers use it. Well, they use Streamlabs, the stream optimized version of OBS. Both same thing, same company. Everything's the same. And uh, essentially, yes, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Follow Creator Dashboard, my community hub for creators. If you guys are a creator and you're not following Creator Dashboard on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, one of the three or all three, you're significantly missing out and you're going to get left behind. That was a manipulation tactic. You're not going to get left behind. You're fine. Don't worry. I'm trying to pressure you into following the thing. Follow it now. I'm too good of a person. I'm not going to try my manipulation on you. Subconsciously, I already did. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a nice day. And I will see you in an upcoming video. Hopefully the one in two days. I'm uploading every other day. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.